So I want to get everything primed and ready for our first print of the official first edition bag of Super Lost. But the problem that I found was, so because we have these degazing valves, degaussing valves, because we have these valves, um, there's actually a little ridge in here. So when we're to go to screen print, it's going to have this little like bump in it and that's going to make for like a weird print. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drill a hole in a couple of sheets of cardboard and then that way um, I can have it go flush with the material and then it'll be flat, hopefully. So let's try it out. Oh yeah, TC Automated Light, nice little indentation. So let's go ahead and cut that out a little crudely. See if that's flush now. So if I set the bag. Hmm, it's not really working. I'll try to. Okay. Oh yeah, okay, that's working actually. So now we're just gonna tape these together. Cool. All right, so now when we go to print, after we actually set up the, the printer here, we'll adjust the bag and then boom, it's nice and flush. Cool. All right, that's set up. So down here we have our first bag of coffee that we'll be roasting for Super Lost. It's 70 kilos, which is about 150 pounds. Um, we're going to do three 50 pound batches and um, each, since we're doing each batch is going to be 100 bags, it's going to be half pound bags each. So this coffee right now is green and what it means by green, it means it's unroasted. So it's been picked off the plant, it's been dried, it's been deshelled, it's been washed and now in this state it can stay like this for a little over a year in this green state um, where it won't be affected by the flavor or anything and then the second you roast it that's when this, the clock starts ticking so right now it's kept in this green state we're going to be roasting it um, in 50 pound increments and then after that we'll be bagging them and shipping them out I'm gonna hand up some fishing line across the whole apartment um, so I can actually tape all the put all the bags to dry. So stretch it across the entire thing.
New day, new boxes came in, some more stuff for Super Lost. So we're just gonna unbox these, see what we got here. Let's start off with this one. Okay, so this one's, um, and this is not sponsored by these people, although they sponsor a lot of podcasts. Um, so I actually did order like a stamps.com thing because we're expecting to ship a lot of stuff out and so we wanted to be able to just do our own postage at home. So I think it's just a scale. Yeah, so a five pound digital scale. Looks like that. Um, cool. Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. Now this one is a lot more interesting because it is, first off, it's in kind of crappy <laughs> condition, but all right, let's see what we got in here. So we got ourselves a heat sealer. So, whoa, okay. So what a heat sealer does is basically exactly what it's describing. It seals packaging via heat. So you basically heat this up or you plug it in. You plug it in, um, this gets really hot and you bring down this clamp, press it down, you hear a click and then I think you just open it up and you're good to go. Uh, having never done this before, ever, I feel like now is a good as time as any to try it without even reading the instructions. Uh, let me get a bigger plug. Alright, so this has a bunch of settings. One to nine. I have no idea which one it is. Let's just start off at four. Just to see. Um, how do you turn this on? Maybe I should. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, so we have a fresh bag here. See, so it's opened. Let's try it out. I'm gonna sit lock it. But you see this part's still open. So I think we just put this here. And then... Hmm. I don't know if that did anything. Oh wait. It totally sealed it. <laughs> yeah, it totally sealed it. See? Can't open that. That is sealed completely. Yeah, I can't open that. Alright, so the heat sealer works. <laughs> yeah, I can't open that at all. So, I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, it totally worked. Cool. Yep. Yeah.